It's time we talk about media bias against cloud gaming. I think it's a very important subject and something that needs to be brought up especially after recent events. And yes, I'm referring to the Business Insider article that was recently put up about Stadia. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to convince you that it's a non-story, because I don't agree with that sentiment either. There's definitely new info here and it's worth discussing, but it's worth treating with actual care. And by that, I mean actually reading it. Way too many articles are being posted that just don't go along with anything that's even being reported. And normally, I would avoid these articles, I typically don't even discuss them on the channel. I have in very few instances, but this is the one statement that really broke the camel's back for me. TechRadar.com wrote the following. To make matters worse, Stadia also has a number of rivals in the cloud gaming space. Xbox Cloud Gaming, Nvidia GeForce Now, and Amazon Luna have all stepped in to challenge Stadia, with Nvidia in particular offering a far more appealing service due to the fact that you pay for a subscription to access hundreds of games instead of purchasing titles individually. How is it that a tech site can write an article and not fact check what it's even writing? Just to be clear, Nvidia does not offer you any sort of games as an incentive for signing up for their subscription. You could argue that there are free to play games and that there are sometimes free games on the Epic Game Store you can claim, but that's not part of Nvidia's offering. And you very much so still have to buy the games you want to play, just on a different storefront. The only way I can imagine this error existing is because they confused Nvidia GeForce Now with Amazon Luna, but you really can't compare Luna to Stadia when it's only available in one country. And even then, Amazon Luna does not have hundreds of games available just yet. You could argue that they're talking about Xbox Cloud Gaming, but that's more of an add-on to Game Pass Ultimate. And it has plenty of its own problems that are making it lack way behind the other cloud gaming services out right now. But you know what? Credit where it's due, TechRadar at least got some of the report facts correct and even updated with the post of Stadia's tweet response after it. But you know who absolutely did not? Take a look at IGN. Google Stadia reportedly rebranded as tech giant moves to a fresh strategy. The word rebranded was not used even once in the whole report, so I don't know where this is coming from and it's absolutely ridiculous to me. And hey, once again, I'm trying to make it extremely clear. I'm not trying to say that this report was good news or that it wasn't news at all. In fact, I've made my opinions on it very clear in two separate videos. But I do want to highlight this sort of misinformation that seems to be so consistent in media outlets when it comes to discussing Stadia and other cloud gaming services. And sadly, it's not something that only media outlets do. There are a lot of YouTubers and influencers and live streamers that also have huge biases against cloud gaming. A lot of it is unjust. There are fair critiques out there and there are things you can criticize about all of these services. Likewise, there are still people so stuck in their ways that they're unable to see what's being achieved here and today. Some people still believe that cloud gaming is never going to be viable because latency is too much. And then you have proof like Digital Foundry's latency test of the new 3080 tier for GeForce Now, proving how its latency is even lower than that of a Series X locally. Red Dead Redemption 2 on Stadia also had similar results beating out local consoles. This sort of thing isn't new by any means and people need to stop pretending like it's impossible. Yes, there's plenty of room to grow and there is still time that is needed before people start adopting in cloud gaming in a big scale. But to pretend that it's all bad and it's a huge waste of time for anyone to check out, well that's just a huge mistake and I believe it comes from a place of privilege. I myself have a next gen console and a gaming PC. I could run all the games locally if I really chose to, but I actually like the benefits of cloud gaming despite its drawbacks. Cloud gaming is a perfect complement to my current gaming setup and the way I play. But what about those who can't afford a next gen console? Those who can't afford an expensive GPU? The services like like Stadia, GeForce Now, Amazon Luna, and Xbox Cloud Gaming can definitely be a game changer for people like that. There are certain markets in the world where cloud gaming can actually reap some major benefits for its users. Latin America and Southeast Asia immediately come to mind. What I'm really trying to point out with this video is that the biases against cloud gaming really don't have much of a ground when you see it in the grand scheme of things. Nobody's ever going to be taking away the local hardware. Much like other forms of medium, even if streaming takes over, there is always a niche demand for local. Be it with music that still sells vinyls and tapes, be it with movies that still sells Blu-rays and DVDs. There's no reason to think game streaming is going to completely eliminate local-based gaming. Just like there's no reason to think that there aren't people here and now cloud gaming on a 
daily basis. I know this whole video has been a bit of a rant, but I would implore you to share your own opinions of all this down in the comments section below, and I'd love to hear them whether or not you agree with me. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming and VR related, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.